Perl tutorial part 122 regular expressions the EE modifier in the previous tutorial we saw how the E modifier indicates that the right hand operand of a substitution operator is code to evaluate in this tutorial we'll use the EE modifier to indicate that the right hand operand of a substitution operator is a string to evaluate and run as code then it will evaluate its return value again so let's create a very simple string to demonstrate 10 plus 5 Okay, so if we were to print this out, we would get 10 plus 5. Okay, so let's create a regular expression. Okay, so first of all, let's match our string. So we have... Firstly, a digit, one or more characters. Then we have a space. Then we're going to put in a character class for our addition. Then we have another space. And then we have another digit, one or more characters. So our character class plus sign, the multiplication sign, division and minus and the division sign we have to escape. And then our match. So if this was the E modifier this will indicate that this is code to evaluate but because we haven't got any code in here to evaluate nothing's really going to happen we'll get 10 plus 5 so if we make this the EE modifier it will indicate that the right hand operand our match is a string to evaluate and run as code then it will evaluate its return value again so let's run this and we get the sum of 15 so if this was multiplication Here we get 50. Division, we get 2. And subtraction, we get 5. Now, we can actually use curly brackets if we don't want to have to escape division sign so we can take out our, our escape and instead of our slashes here we can put curly bracket like that we'll just substitute this code for this code Okay, now another example. I'm 
I have three plus six dollars. Okay, so we may not know how many spaces we have, so it's probably best to put in a white space character zero or more times. Okay, so let's run this. And we print out I have nine dollars. Okay, so now finally in this tutorial, let's copy these three lines down. And let's extend our string out to say I have three plus six dollars and ten divided by two cents. And if we make, well, first of all, let's run this as it is. And we print out I have nine dollars and ten divided by two cents. So if we make this global and run this, we get I have nine dollars and five cents. Okay, so that's some information about the EE modifier.